Hey y'all, so today I have a different kind of video for you. I know it's been a bit, it's been so busy. Haven't really been online much at all. Um, one of my recent obsessions though is to try to get everything in order and um, keep my life more organized is I've gotten into using a personal planner. Um, I think what really kind of started it all was buying Milo's homeschool planner, um, I'll link that video below, and that has been working out really, really great for his homeschool lessons and keeping track of his field trips and stuff, but for me personally, um, I wanted more than just having our calendar in our, our phones. My husband and I do have a linked calendar, so we still do update the calendar in our phone but it's helped me to write everything down and plus I really enjoy the fact that using a planner like this um, is almost like a cross between planning and scrapbooking so I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts and um, a couple of the layouts that I've done since having this for the past couple of weeks um, so this is the Happy Planner by Me and My Big Ideas. You can purchase this. I have two of them. You can purchase this at Michael's, which is where I purchased this. I bought one for my mom for her um, birthday present. <clears throat> she saw mine and wanted one. But um, you can purchase this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You can also purchase online from meandmybigideas.com and I know that you can purchase on Amazon as well. I did try to find it um, at Michael's and uh, or Hobby Lobby first. I did find it at Michael's because like if you had a 40 or 50% off coupon, you could use it towards this. Um, they retailed for $24.95. I did have a 50% off coupon. So mine was only $12.50 plus tax, which is pretty incredible considering the cost of an Erin Condren, um, which is around $50, or a Lime Life, which is around $55. And you'll see, um, as I will flip through this with you, that it is very comparable to the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I'm sure you've um, seen that or familiar with that. If not, I don't have one, but... Um, you can easily Google the images or even go on their site. Um, this is an arc system, um, which is not, it's not quill bound. They use these discs and then they're punched a certain way to where you could easily like remove or add pages. And which is another um, draw for me when I purchased this because I like that you can customize it and that you can take things out, add things in very, very easily. Um, it was, it is, I did customize and add things into my Erin um, Condren teacher planner, but it definitely took more effort than just um, hole punching into this. And I think I am going to invest in like a better hole punch. I just got one of these smaller ones, but they don't really punch thick things well, and I doubt that they'll punch um, anything laminated. I kind of want to try to make my own covers for these, but I don't think it's strong enough, so... Um, all right, into, into the planner. So when you buy it, this, I actually swapped the covers. I, um, I liked the inside of the gold foil, which is what I'm using, but I wanted to use the black. Um, so I, I ended up just kind of switching it, switching them out. Um, so the inside of this is actually what would be on the inside of the black heart planner. So when you get it um, brand new like this, it comes with a smaller um, disc. I did purchase an expandable, expandable discs for mine because I did add a bunch of their available add-ins, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, which is another plus. Like it's so hard to uncoil and recoil coil-bound planners. This was really really easy to do. I just took out you know, a few pages at a time and um, put it onto the coil system, which is super easy. You get it and um, 
there's this hello this happy planner belongs to and then for the first page um, there's a, this cute little foil heart and a quote and then it goes into this I don't know I keep calling it a dashboard I don't know if that's what it's meant to be called but it's like your month at a glance and I really really like this is what actually kind of initially drew me into this planner was the fact that there was a section for July birthdays, goals, special events, important dates, and don't forget. And if you didn't have any birthdays, you could easily just like cover this up, which I'll show you um, how I did my October one. And then it goes into the monthly view and the weekly view, which as you can see, it really, really looks like the Erin Condren Life Planner. There is no gaps in the boxes, which I really like. And um, the boxes are longer, so there is more room for you to write in, which is a big plus for me because, um, I don't know, I feel like it just looks better, and sometimes uh, the, the, the days get packed. So I prefer this layout. My only caveat with this, and to be fair, it's not exclusive to Lime Life. It's actually the majority of all, a lot of planners that I've looked at is that the week start on Monday. I hate that. I wish that you could buy like a layout specific one where the week could start on Sunday. Or they sell these planner packs, like they have our extensions. Um, if you had bought when they released this, it started in July, but I think they released it earlier on in the year. And so I wish with the expansion pack they didn't put like the days of the week and you could also add those in as well as the date and months because that's probably the way um, I would have gone. Um, so that was a bit frustrating for me. I just don't like it. Um, I know it works for most people that have a Monday to Friday job. I don't. I um, work weekends, holidays. And so um, our, our schedule starts on Sunday. And it also kind of drives me crazy because... The monthly spread goes from Sunday to Saturday. I don't understand why the weekly one does. So I, I know it works for most people, but it does not work for me. So I made my own customizations um, to make it work for me, and I will show you that. But um, just a quick flip through. This is the inside of the black part. It's really cute. Um, and it does the same thing. The, this is very, to me, uh, like a Kate Spade style planner. Um, the colors and this, uh, the schemes. It's not too in your face. Really classy. So I like it a lot. And then there's, because it's not as colorful as and kind of like um, like as bright and colorful even with the weekly layouts as the Erin Condren I feel like when you decorate you have more of a leeway you can also um, go on to me my big ideas.com and they flip through all of their planners so you can see what the inside looks like before you buy because depending on the cover the insides will look different. Even like this little dashboard looks different in some of the other um, the other planners. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. Here is my big old hunkin' thing. And I definitely did make my own mods to it. You can see, of course I added my cute little um, bookmarks. I do wanna give a shout out to uh, Ladybug on a Pug on Etsy. It's where I purchased all of mine. I have a, a bunch I'm so obsessed that I can use for like different occasions or moods. And I love that with these, they are um, not just felt the whole way through. The front part is glitter vinyl, so it adds a bit of a pop. And these are the ones that I'm going to use for next month. She had these little leaves. I just absolutely, absolutely adore it. Um... So yeah, just a quick shout out to that. Check her out on Etsy. Super, super cute. I don't really buy any of the other bookmarks from somewhere else because I just feel like with the paper ones would um, not hold, excuse me, not hold up as well. I, I do take this with me. 
All right, so flipping into mine, you can see our, um, I bought this. You can buy this extra add-on. It's a um, like a little dashboard with sticky notes, and I did purchase this from Michaels as well. It is it has like the perfect size stickies for the boxes and little flags and little half um or little they're a little bit bigger than half so that you could if you did write something you could stick one of these on. I love this. Um super super cute and I don't remember how much it costs, but again you can use your coupon. I wanna say it was around $7.99. But if you yeah, you could use the coupon too. I also purchased um extra folders. I'm only using two in my planner right now. Um, I don't know where I put the other ones. They come in a pack of, oh here they are. They come in a pack like this and there are six and there's some for all the different styles of the, to coordinate with all the different styles of the planner. And I think that you could use them. The only one that I probably would, would use because I feel like it would clash is this one. But I only needed two, so I used this one and the Be Thankful one to kind of separate this front bit from the, to the other end of the planner. Um, instead of just writing in my name, I did use some Project Life cards and I just pasted them in. I used my Xyron sticker maker to put them in and I really, really, like I said, this is, this is the scrapbooking part of it that I enjoy that um, I could make it a little bit more personalized. I, I can't, I really wish I could do some brush script and I think that'll be like my next endeavor when I have some time is to learn how to make my handwriting look like that. So I was really excited when they had this, um, this set and um, I use that and I think it turned out super cute. This next bit is actually from the home planner. It comes in, um, I don't know if I catch the other package. It comes in a set like that looks like this too. It says the home planner. And there's actually four sections, to-do list, meal planning, house cleaning, and budget. It's um, the budgeting I, I wouldn't use. My, my husband handles all the budgeting for us. So lucky me, I don't have to worry about worry about that bit um so i just didn't use it and it ended up working out perfectly because the planner arrives to you and it starts in july so i just pulled out july august and september added my three things in and then went into october which i'll show you how i made that work so the to-do list is super cute. There's a little quote in the front. Um, it's very simple. It just has like a date and like a check mark for when you get it done. I haven't actually used it yet because I've put in to-dos in the actual week. So um, I may just use this as notes or like bigger goals that will take longer than a week. Um, I also really like this meal planning. It's really cute. There's a little, a quote from Julia Child. You don't have to cook fancy or complicated masterpieces, just good food from fresh ingredients. And I do think about that a lot um, when I do cook. But like I, my husband is also the one that does almost all the cooking. So this is something that he and I, um, you know, talked about we're gonna sit and use together. Um, I like that there's like, on this page, there's the seven days of the week and an occasion, and then the grocery list, which is blocked off by produce, deli, cereal, snacks and drinks, dairy, canned goods, frozen meat, condiments, spices, and staples, and miscellaneous. I find that, I don't know about you, but like we just go to the grocery store, we kind of have a general idea of what we want. We purchase um, some things, and then we kind of forget about it and don't use it, and it I hate to throw food out, so I think I'm not to have be strict about this is what we're eating on Monday, but if we know like the things that we're gonna make during the week and kind of at least buy those things and make a, a list, <clears throat> I feel like since we have our list here, we won't forget what we bought and we can just use it. So just to keep ourselves more organized for that. 
And then the third part of the um, the home planner add-on is called the house cleaning. And this is cool. I might just laminate this and have one page. Um, this isn't one that I feel like I need to reuse every week. And truthfully, maybe this one too. I don't know. Just laminate it to save space and put this back if I can find where my other one went. I was going to show you the budgeting one, but I don't remember where I put it. Um, but yes, so you can have the week of and then has a list Monday through Sunday. So this can kind of help us keep on track of tasks so we don't have to do like big cleans. Okay, so I added in a folder to separate it off. I thought it like went in well pretty nicely. And I keep some of my basic stickers. Um, I, I made these work stickers from Avery sticker paper. I just highlighted it with a highlighter and then I used these stamps from Mommy Lay right here. The work stamp, you can see it's very well used to stamp on and then I just stick it onto the each day. I also made one for trash and um, green ones that have like any extra days that I work. And before we got into the actual layout, you can purchase these note blocks that fit in pretty well and they stick as well on the top um, for $4.99 and so I added one of those in. So since the planner started in July, after the, the initial quote, oh my gosh, you can see it in this one. After the initial quote, it goes straight into the dashboard and for October on the other side of the dashboard is the last week of September so to make it look nicer I pasted them together so that way it's just this page and you turned it and we go into our October dashboard as you can see, mine is decorated. I There isn't really anyone that, whose birthday that we celebrate in October. So I just put a Project Life card, some washi and stickers, and a non-Halloween related quote, but something cute for me to look at. Um, I did, you know, just delineate with some washi and put in some important events and things that we're gonna be doing. And then I took these Project Life inserts and I, you know, put washi to stabilize and punched them. I did punch them with that. It didn't punch all the way, so I did have to cut it. I used these inserts, the 6x8 inserts, and they have the one um, for photos, like a regular size photos, and the one that's a 3x4, because it's a 4x6 slot. <clears throat> I did accidentally buy one that had nothing but four by six slots and I was like yeah why'd I do that so to be able to use them I made them a little bit bigger so that they could go behind it and I am going to still use them because I thought it'd be a neat idea for um when Milo gets into his Halloween costume and when we go to the pumpkin patch I'm going to want to take pictures of those and put them here too so that um, I can have some pictures and so I really like this bit of it that I can add stuff um, and look back to it. And I also plan on adding during the week. So going into October, this is um, how I did the weekly layout. This is my first one. I think it um, came out pretty, pretty okay. I did um, use some stickers. I made these stickers using some stamps. I stamped it onto Avery's sticker paper colored it with some Tim Holtz distress markers and then just cut them out with scissors and put them in. And I like the way it looks. I do stamp directly into my planner, but this bit I didn't realize needed some time to dry, so it's smudged, but it looks okay. And then I used my little stickers so that the days that I work were like, you know, things like that, like kind of pop out. And I like the way it looks, but I kept everything pretty minimal and do more of like what's going on in the week um, here. So this is my first week, which I didn't um, separate anything out. So I, I don't know, I, it was a good first attempt, but 
I didn't, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. We did go to D Dinosaur Valley State Park and I did take some pictures. So I have a layout on Word that um, you can like import the pictures into and um, then you can print them out in the computer. And I was just going to print them out in the computer and paste them in here. So this is kind of how I think I'm going to do my layouts from now on. I do still kind of block off my days from like morning, afternoon, and night. Um, but rather than having the washi on the top, it made it a little too busy for me. I like to like this and just kind of a little bit cleaner and it just ended up looking better for me. Now we talked about earlier that I really, really hate Monday starts. So what I did do, and I'll bring this up closer so you can see, is I took white circle dots from Avery, colored them in with a Sharpie and used a white jelly roll pen to write the date. And then on another Avery sticker, I stamped in the days from this stamp from Sweet Stamp Shop. It's called, I don't know, I think like small script or, or script lower. That's what it's called. And just pasted those in. So now, yay, my week starts on Sunday and goes to Saturday just how I like it. And it really works a lot better for me. And it was not hard to customize. I know that with some other planners, I could probably do the same, but it would be a lot more fussy for me to, um, to customize. This was easy. So I did do that. Um, I did it all the way through, I think December, but you can see here, um, I was getting through it. I was trying to do as much as I could, so I didn't have to do it. And then this is what it looks like normally, but now it works. It matches my work schedule. It, it works in a way that my mind thinks, and I'm super happy about it. I do stamp with uh, VersaMagic chalk or the, uh, or the VersaFine ink for the black. And I really like how it looks using both stamps and stickers and making my own stickers to go in these boxes. This is one that I actually, I didn't make, I bought it, but I'm going to be making more. And I, I really just enjoy this. I think that it looks cool and it makes me want to like take a look at it and like not forget things. Um, so these are just some of my future layouts. I did, I did use washi. I used um, some stickers from... Uh, the dollar section at at Michael's. Here, I'll show you the ones that I used. These type of stickers. Um, as well as these stickers from Mambi, or me and my big ideas. Um, this one is from here, I think. And they just have so many fun. This is from their scrapbooking line that I may use later. These two are. These are from their planner line. Fun little quotes and things that you can add to your planner to make it even cuter. About two of those. Um, these are all the same. The stickers are the exact same. They're just different colors. So... I didn't realize that. Keep that in mind if you buy that. It's not a negative to me, but I think they did it to go with whichever planner you bought. So I think I should have just bought more gold, but that's okay. The gold ones are the ones I like the best. <coughs> and just take a quick look. I, I really just love the look of it go to the pumpkin patch I you know put that in there with some stickers and I'll print out a picture of my the pumpkin patch and paste it in here just on regular printer paper and then running it through my Xyron sticker machine if you don't have one of those I get it it doesn't even need batteries let me show it to you really quick this is this is it and you just place it in here turn the knob and it comes out a sticker it's awesome and I buy the cartridges on Amazon which is cheaper and then November. I haven't done my November dashboard yet. I did last do last night. And 
another photo pocket in here for like my favorite November pictures. I did put um, kind of a, I did do a start. I can upload that plan with me. I didn't finish it, but uh, I like, I wanted to keep it more blank and not get too heavy on the stickers because you know, a lot can happen in November. I do have my work schedule out until the 2nd of January. So I went ahead and added that in there. And as well as little things like, I know that I'm gonna watch The Hunger Games on the premiere night, if not the night before. So I had definitely made sure I was off from work, um, at least this day in case I um, went to the midnight showing. And these stickers I made using Lawn Fawn uh, stamps. I used this stamp set, stamped it on Avery paper and colored it with my Tim Holtz markers. Super easy, and they came out really cute. Um, so yeah, so far I'm very, very happy with this planner. Um, if you're interested in me doing plan with me videos, then let me know because I really enjoy doing it and I wouldn't mind, um, you know, posting that so that y'all can see kind of how I do it. Um, before we go, I just have one more thing to talk about, um, extension packs. So I told you about the folders and the home planner. You can also buy the extension pack, which if you wanted to customize it more, this might be your way to go because there's no dates on it. You can add the dates. It would be, e it would have been just easier for me to like block out and write the days of the week. But I really did like the divider designs. I'll show you the divider designs on this. Um, so I just went ahead and bought it. Um, and this might be how I, you know, add on some months or go into the next year. We'll see. But um, I did buy some of those. They are ten dollars. Again, you can use your coupon though. I got excited. I should have. I just kind of bought things at once. They also have um, paper sheets. So if you did want to add a section for notes. Um, you could do this, which I think I will do, is add, make a little uh, tab and add a section for notes. I start using this a bit more. We'll see, it's pretty thick. And then you can also buy extra covers. So it was really annoying to me that the gold foil was only on the front cover. Keep that in mind, on the back, it is not gold foil. So that was a big reason, because I do want to use the gold foil dots eventually. And this is only $5. I mean, planner covers are usually so much more expensive, even on Etsy or Erin Condren. So I bought this because it had the gold foil, so both sides could be gold foil. And then I could also interchange with these, but they don't they do not come with a back cover. So I'll either make a back cover or buy another one of these. Just keep that in mind. It's not both, it's just the front cover. But see what I mean about easy to add things on, um, customize, super fun. Things come out really easily. So if I say we're gonna work on this upcoming week, you just pull, you just pull it out and work on it in the tape, which is what I do, work on it and then put it back in. And um, just a quick breeze through, this is what's inside the gold foil. I love it, I think it's so classy. This is my favorite in, inside. And some of the more plain ones like these or that one, you can like, I was thinking of adding some Project Life cards or decorating it kind of like I did the cover. I just like the gold accents and the inspirational quotes. Kind of gets you going. All the way through December of next year. And the back cover. I will say like it's gotten pretty scratched up for me um, just taking it everywhere. The black is more noticeable with fingerprint smudges and, and um, scratches than I, I think the gold one would be. So I may use this cover. I don't know, I'm still deciding because I really do like this. And then um, I just use like a elastic headband, which I seem to have lost. It was on here, oh, to 
to kind of keep it more sturdy because it does kind of wobble a bit and I wanted to keep it nice and sturdy for when I take it with. But so far I'm really, really impressed with this. I love it. I like it a lot and um, I think it's super useful and super cute. So a really great affordable option for those of us that don't want to shell out $50 or even $40 with a $10, $10 code that you can get for being a new customer. But if you've used that before and if you purchase, like me, I wouldn't be a new customer. I'd purchase it um, brand new. This just makes more sense. And honestly, I think that if you prefer a coil binding, you don't like this arc system, this is something that you could easily take to Staples and have them coil for you. It wouldn't be um, the nice, you know, aluminum coil, but you could always purchase the aluminum coil from Lime Life. They sell those separately. So, um... Like I said, a lot of like cool options. Really, really great. And um, I'll see you next time, I think, when I do my Play With Me video. Hope you have a great day. Bye.